Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Outside the Ropes. I'm Tom Hennef, and I'm joined by the Knockouts World Champion, Deanna Peraza. We're living in the new age of the Virtuosa, and come this Friday night, May 26th, in London, Ontario, Canada, at Under Siege, live on Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders. You, Deanna, will be defending your Knockouts World Championship against Jordan Grace. There is a stipulation to this, however. If Jordan loses, she can no longer challenge for the title so long as you are champion. What do you feel about that stipulation? I feel like that's a fair stipulation. Jordan and I have done this three times now, and I've always defeated Jordan Grace. I can't imagine how that feels and the pressure it puts on her for Under Siege, but I feel like at this point, maybe it's time to give someone else an opportunity. And to your point, the three matches that you have had, it began back in the pandemic in 2020. You two have had a fantastic series of matches, and I would say that your rivalry was one of the big reasons why people were tuning in when there were unfortunately no fans in attendance. You two had some spectacular matches for the Knockouts World Championship. For it all to come full circle at Rebellion, we talked about it throughout the night, it was unprecedented in the history of pro wrestling to have two vacant world titles determined in the same night. What was the pressure that both of you felt going into that evening? Yeah, it, there was a lot of pressure, and I think it was both pressure Jordan and I put on ourselves, but then pressure from the company. The women are main eventing Rebellion. There's only been three women to main event a pay-per-view at Impact Wrestling for the Knockouts World Championship. Those women are myself, Jordan Grace, and Mickey James. And, and whether Mickey James was gonna compete or not, those three women are carrying this division and have been carrying it for quite a long time. So that's pressure in itself. We just wanted to be able to go out there and do our best. And, and we had fans this time, so it needed to be even better. It was about time that we got some fans <laughs> in person it in front good. of that. It felt good to have fans for yeah. that type of high caliber match. Yeah, COVID-19 really messed a lot of things <laughs> up. So I was glad to see that. Um, I do want to talk about the big headline as of late in Impact Wrestling, not to take away from anything between you and Jordan. Mm -hmm. Trinity, yeah. arriving in Impact Wrestling. Your reaction? I, I think competition is great. And I think that uh, Trinity is high caliber competition. She's done it all. And for her to decide to come to Impact Wrestling only elevates our division that much more. My mission since I arrived in 2020 is to make the Knockouts division the most coveted division in the entire world. And adding Trinity into this mix, I think does exactly that. So Trinity arrives in Chicago on Impact Wrestling for the first time ever. You come out, and not only do you come out, some shots were fired. When you step in the ring with the virtuosa Deanna Perrazzo, that's not something you can just walk out on. When you step in the ring with me, you're gonna wish you got fired again. Can you explain your motivation behind doing so? You know what, I, and I said it that night, I don't blame Trinity for coming in and staking her claim at the Knockouts World Championship, but it is my Knockouts World Championship. And, and if history repeats itself, I don't play nice with others who want what's mine. I just needed to let her know. You say my name, you talk about my championship. Hi, it's nice to meet you, welcome. I don't, I don't think any shots are a bad thing. Let her know her place, let her know she's not number one here yet, and I welcome her to try to take my place. She took a shot at you right back. Yeah. In turn about being fair play? Absolutely. If, if I can give it, I have to be able to take it. Now, obviously that same night at Under Siege, mm -hmm. Trinity is gonna have her first live match as a part of Impact Wrestling. First time ever matchup, she goes one-on-one -on -one with Giselle Shaw at Under Siege. Will you be distracted at all? I don't think so. I'll definitely have, have my eyes on that match. I want to see what she's capable of. I know she's coming for my Knockouts World Championship. So if she defeats Giselle Shaw, I mean, she's got to be in contention then, right? Um, so I think it's not distracting because to defeat Jordan Grace again, I can't be distracted. I have to have 100% focus. I know the competitor Jordan is, but in the back of my mind, I have to go back and I have to watch that match and be aware 
what Trinity does in Impact Wrestling. No, you've always been very good about compartmentalizing, and that's what always makes me so astonished about you as a person and as a performer, because you've been able to compartmentalize a lot of things that have been happening in your life, and especially, I'm always astonished that you've been going back to school as of late. It was shared during Women's History Month that you've been working towards your bachelor's in history. What has that journey been like while you're wrestling and working full-time, maintaining your own business? Yeah, well, I don't want to get emotional, and I always do when I talk about that. And we all do. We all sacrifice so much to live our pro wrestling dream. And up until when I did get released from WWE, I had not had the time to go back to school. And coming into Impact and just having a more laid back schedule, more free time to do things for myself and focus on myself, it was really important for me to find a new outlet that wasn't just wrestling 24 seven. And I decided to go back to school. It's been a long two and a half year journey, but it's been a life goal of mine to get a college degree. And although it took a back burner for, you know, eight, eight years, um, I wanted to make sure I got that done. And I was gonna do it at any cost as, as I do anything. I put my mind to it and I wanna get it done. Well, you've built something special. You're obviously a three-time Knockouts World Champion. You've done some tremendous things here in Impact Wrestling. Uh, looking at what Impact has been able to do, specifically the Knockouts division, my broadcast colleague Matthew Raywalt and I constantly talk about it on commentary, and we're boasting a bit about our own division, is that this is the best women's division in pro wrestling. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I think because I am the Knockouts World Champion, Tom. What, what kind of question is that? Um, no, I, I think this division is the best in the world because of the diversity that it has. Every single one of the women up and down our roster brings something different to the table. There's no right or wrong here. You can be who you are authentically without any questions asked. And we all do that on a weekly basis. The one thing I find interesting is your change in attitude. While, while it is the new age of the virtuosa, I've said on commentary many times before, you're no saint. When you and I were first working together at Hard to Kill 2022 was a Texas death match between you and Mickey James for the Knockouts World Championship. Matthew Raywalt was doing your bidding. It seems like a lot has changed. You maybe have less allies within Impact Wrestling out there backing you up, but still, there's a lot that you've done to, to change. Why do you think you did change? Yeah, I, I think we've seen my journey here at Impact Wrestling, and I came in with a chip on my shoulder and a point to prove. And I, I proved that point. And I think now, you know, three years removed, I'm comfortable with where I am in professional wrestling with my spot in the knockouts division as a three-time knockouts world champion, but then also who I am in my real life and the things I've been able to accomplish outside of professional wrestling. That's fantastic. Now, looking forward to this Friday night, Under Siege, London, Ontario, Canada. A lot of eyes are gonna be on the knockouts division. As I mentioned, Trinity's gonna be in the building in action against Giselle Shaw. You have your knockouts world title match against Jordan Grace. There's tons of pressure, but you seem to be used to the pressure. What should people expect at Under Siege? They should expect me to retain my knockouts world championship.